what's going on YouTube my name is bear witness and today we're gonna to be working on some build tutorials so basically what's going on today is I was playing around in playground mode and I was practicing my building and I was like you know there's so many new players that come in on a regular basis that even though there is a lot of tutorial videos out there I wanted to make one with a little bit of my own spin on it now basically what I'll be showing you guys is a couple different things that I like to use that help me win gunfights on a regular basis but I don't I do want you guys to understand something first of all I'm not the best builder in the world but I do know a lot about what I'm doing when it comes to building second of all I don't play on a super high sensitivity so when people like will tend to like not necessarily outbuild me but when it comes to certain things as in people will say oh you know you you're not building that fast so you're not doing it right I am a person that goes based on trying to do it right instead of trying to do it fast based on the fact that when I play on a high sensitivity it makes me feel like I'm doing things too fast and it makes me feel like I'm spam building and I don't like that feeling very often I like to be cool and calm and collected so that's the reason why I do it like this so if you guys were wondering I play on 6-6 six, six sensitivity and that's what I'll be showing you guys and demonstrating this on today if you guys play on higher these tactics might work a little bit better but also like I said you have to worry on when you play on sensitivities that are higher that they might not register if you're on console because this is console building so they might not register your building fast enough sometimes if you're moving too fast it won't register um, so that's the things that you have to worry about but we're gonna start off with simple you know ramp there you go with the thing in front of it you know what I'm saying with the wall ramp with wall in front of it ramp wall in front of it bang 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 you got me okay so now we move on. You got double ramp, double wall. There you go. That's uh, I like that. I like you. I like doing the double ramps, double walls. Now, when it comes to the lower parts, I'm always focused on trying to get like to the next area. So I feel like I reach this area too fast, and then you got this problem. So that's why I kind of go off the ground. Nine times out of ten, people aren't going to take the time to shoot out both your buildings. So you can go up here, up here even, and then oh well, I messed that up. But you can do that if you mess up, and that's a quick fix for your messes up, and then you're straight. Like nine times out of ten, once you're this high, you can get it to a good advantage. If you're not, you know they could be coming around below you, but you've got all of this area to move and jump around on, and you're shotgunning the shit out of them. Now my new favorite way to ramp is this guys and it's kind of like the coolest thing to me. I like doing it like this based on the fact that you get multiple layers of protection when going up. Now it does take a minute to get up to where you want to go but it's worth it for the extra protection. And you also have a little bit more time to make it back down your ramp so you're to a safe spot before they knock it down. Those are some of the cooler things that I like to do when uh, doing the ramp rushes. Um, that's generally like most of my tactics um, based on like ramp brushing like that or stuff like that and so there is situations and when like you'll be up here and somebody will come up next to you either you're on the side of their building or you're on the side of theirs and then all you guys have to do is you know quick one two and keep going up you know until you get the high ground keep making sure you're blocking the side they're on off make sure you keep making sure that you understand where they are that's the kind of thing but the thing is that when I have to stress to you eh, is the fact that like don't get overwhelmed in your building and don't overbuild sometimes people like they'll, they'll go up and they'll be like say this is a little bit higher off the ground than you know say say you're higher like over there right and but they'll just be like uh yeah well that's that it, it doesn't make sense to do that nine times out of ten people are going to disengage and you're going to have a problem kind of even figuring out how you want to get down from your building so i i don't recommend building a big floor like that i don't recommend doing any of that but what i do think is a very great idea is for you to like just you know stay calm get to points like this and like I said even if you mess up the best thing you can do is when you mess up building ramps and stuff just build a platform just that's all you have to do is build a platform and build a ramp up and you're straight again you don't even have anything to worry about you're safe in a one by one now a real quick thing we're gonna go over is that if you're going to do a simple one by one don't do this where you build a ramp and then try to make a one by one out from there see it just doesn't work right you end up building all around you in some kind of weird ass way now what I do recommend is this is you hop up here you build a floor one by one that works too but even that is an error in, it, in itself because people could shoot that out right there so what you want to do is deter people from doing that necessarily so you can't see it from here but what I did was I built a floor 
uh, and a wall, a ramp and a wall, and then I was able to craft myself like a little bit of a deterrence from people actually shooting it down. So there's that. And then we have one more thing to talk about, and that's retaking high ground. Now I'm going to show you guys the way that I learned originally, and then I'm going to show you guys the way that I prefer now. So we're going to build three high right here, and then we're going to connect it, and then I'm going to show you guys how you guys can uh, beat that. So when you go up too high here, the guy's building over your right. Well, the way I learned was you look up. Well, oh, well, oh I already built it. Sorry, guys, real quick, minor defect. I did not realize I had built it already. So you built up, and you go out, and uh, you go up. That's how I learned. Yeah, you know, yeah, you do that, and then... You, am I on the next building or some shit? I, I don't know what that just was. Anyway, that's how you do it, or that's the way I was taught to do it originally. Now I'm going to show you guys the way that I prefer doing it now, and it's been a very, very fun way to do things. So, once again, we're building three up, and we're going to go over here, and we're going to push right here, and you see he's got us here. Well, usually you wouldn't have this gap, so we're going to pretend like we don't have that gap. So what you do is this, this, you turn around, you place a wall, you go to a... Uh, you place a wall, you go to up, and then there you go. Like, usually, they'll either be below you, but you'll have a better commanding presence in the fight, and you immediately take the high ground from the opponent. Now, if any of these tutorials helped you guys, you guys can make sure that you guys uh, like the video, so you can get this so other people can see. Like I said, there's a lot of new players coming all the time, and I feel like it's not explained in a way of, like, the situations that um, I just displayed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the whole situation. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you click that like button. I want to try to get five likes on this video. But um, also, if you guys haven't clicked the sub button, you guys make sure you click the sub button so you guys can be notified on all my content with the bell and shit. You already know. And then, also guys, if you wanted to, you could sign up for the Battle Pass giveaway. We're going to be giving away two Battle Passes, so all you guys have to do is go in the description below. And you guys can find out all of the information you needed to get fully signed up for that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys. Peace.